Hello, my country people. Welcome back to the news. Aloye Jimako de Parao. That guy, they very seriously. So, they ain't done to say, ain't go sue anybody. We come out to say, na hype up, they cause all the whole katakata for the southeast region. Now, what in this hype up lawyer talk? So, Ejimako now have threatened to sue anyone, linking the Biafran group, linking hype up with violence in the southeast. You know, say at this moment now, eh, Southeast, they hot. All the old states for the Southeast region, they hot right now. Everywhere, just they boy. Based on the insecurity now, people just they run helter scatter. So now, see, they be like this. So some certain people, they don't, they one point hype up now, say, well, what they are doing is very wrong. In fact, they have started criticizing them. There have been a lot of criticisms on the indigenous people of Biafra, the IPOP. Now, at this junction, Aloy Jimako have said he, he won't hesitate to sue anyone that will come out openly and said, well, the IPOP is the cause of all the violence in the Southeast region. Guys, this is interesting. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Barrister Aloy Ejimakom, who is a special counsel to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Nabikano, has threatened to sue anyone accusing the group of causing the violence around the purported sit at home incident in the southeast region of Nigeria. Ejimako said this in a tweet on Monday in which he reinstated uh, in which he reinstated this earlier stand that the IPOP was a non-violent group, adding that he would do anything within his rhyme to protect the image of the association. He said, I should consider it as my core duty to my clients, Mazenam Dikano and IPOP. Now, to say this, Mazenam Dikano and IPOP are still committed to the principles of non violence. As from today, if you publicly accuse IPOP of using violence to enforce the sit at home, hmm, then prepare to meet me in court to produce your evidence. While I deal with my country people, hey, everywhere just they halt. This is our Nigerian court, eh? Everybody just they carry their matter, they go there. As they be at this moment, if you fuck up, if you do anyhow, now so they go carry you go court. So Allah like Ijima called on to see, make nobody come out, come talk anyhow. Uh -huh. If anybody come out, begin one accuse hype up for the violence where they go on for Southeast. Say make that person they ready to go court to. Uh -huh. Because as they be so now our Nigerian court now in the hot now. Anybody will get matter. Now, so, they go carry you go court. And in May 2022, it was reported that uh, Aloy Jimako Namdekano reacted to a viral report by the BBC World Service centered around the activities of the group. And the BBC report titled IPOP, the Nigerian Media Warriors, calling for the killings on the social media over the Biafra. Now, it had chronicled events showing how agitators had called for attacks against those considered enemies of the campaign for the Biafran in independence. Now, according to the BBC report, many of those agitators are currently based outside the country from where they took uh, violence in Nigeria by their podcast and streaming on social media platform, streaming on social media platform. The report, which exposed the activities of some individuals, further claimed that some of the media warriors were even being paid by either IPOB or their supporters for the work they do. Now, we saw other broadcasts in which bank details for IPOB were shared for donations from supporters and followers. Reacting, Aloe Jimako had exonerated the group from the claims stating that IPOB, the IPOB he represented, had no connection with media warriors who calling for, the, for killings. 
Ejimako noted that IPOP has chapters in various countries of the world and it is recognized as a self-determination group, he wrote on Twitter. But then, he distanced the IPOP from any form of violence that the indigenous people of Biafra, they are a non-violent group. They don't go around trying to force people to do something that is against the law. No, they don't do that. Mazen Namdekano, who is their leader, is against that principle. But then, the fact that the IPOP has so many you know, followers across the country, people tend to do some certain things which does not align with the principles of the IPOP, with what Mazen Namdekano have set down. Now, I can tell you that, you see, following the ongoing outrage that has greeted, you know, the Southeast, there are so many members of the Biafra, the IPOP, they are insisting that, see, one thing we want is the release of Kano. Now, imagine a scenario where Mazen Namde Kano is released today. Do you think all these things will be going on in the Southeast region? Whether it is the IPOP that is doing it too, or not the IPOP, but everyone is saying Mazen Namdekano should be released. So I really think that the federal government, instead of them trying to run around, trying to, you know, quench the fire when the root of the problem is in the foundation, they have to resolve this issue from the grassroots, which is releasing Mazen Namdekano first. Then you will get to see how things will begin to come back to the way it was before. All this, you know, going on, all this agitation is as a result of, you know, the insecurity in the Southeast. The Southeasterners, they are feeling uh, marginalized, you know. They are feeling that, in fact, they don't belong in this country. They are being maltreated at, uh, by the government at the national level. So they said, we don't want this to continue. They feel that the country is not treating them well. That's why they want to go. Now, agitation comes from when you are feeling like, you, you know, unfair treatment. When you are feeling like, oh, you are not accepted in where you are. That's how people st start agitating. But then the federal government has to deal with these issues, the cause of the agitation, and to release the Namdi Kano. Then you will see everything will start dying down. But Aloe Jimako don't just say anybody will go come out, come to say na IPOP, they cause the you know insecurity and the violence in the Southeast region. Then that person should be ready to go to court alongside with his evidence. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.